Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're having a great day, drinking lots of water, staying hydrated. Have eaten something at some point today if you haven't, now's your chance to because we're sitting back, relaxing, and playing some more Franbo today. As we left off last time, we started uh, episode 5, and I really think we're getting close to the end here. I thought maybe last time, but now we're actually on the last episode, so we might be able to finish today. So without further ado, we're jumping right into this. Let me turn off my music and we're going to hop right in. All right, so we were here. <coughs> oh, we got something from this, correct? Did we get this from that? Oh, we got a lot here. Oof. I don't know how to get to this dude. That's the problem. Um... I also realized something, I think. I thought this was supposed to open this. Because hmm? I looked at the walkthrough because I was uh, a little bit stuck. I guess I do have a couple of keys, don't I? I have this one. Oh. Well. I didn't realize that one would work there, too. Anyway, now we're not stuck anymore. Hello, Mr. Skull. You have a little flesh left on you. I don't think that's appropriate, miss. Oh, who is the key? Sorry, but I need this key. There are many doors that I wish to unlock. Tell your friend to be nice and open his mouth. He won't. He never does. Besides, his teeth are reinforced. It would be hard to get that key without his permission. Reinforced teeth? I see. I'll see what I can do to get the key then. And who are you, if I may ask? Well, I'm Fran. Nice to meet you, Fran. I'm Roberto. Welcome to Makuba's Den. Or Mab Mabuka. Sorry, I keep reversing those letters. Mabuka's Den. Mabuka? Who's Mabuka? You don't know who Mabuka is. You don't? Leave now, just leave. But Roberto, sir, I haven't been here before. Don't judge me for not knowing. Tell me who Mabuka is instead, so I know. Okay, Mabuka is the mother of darkness. The darkest darkness, the obscurity, the end of light. Mabuka is the mother of all creatures from the fifth reality. What? Am I in the fifth reality? I thought Remmer was king here. Remmer, the terrible black, the son of darkness. Nobody likes him too much. You should go now. I've said enough. All right, I'll be back later anyway. I must get your friend's key. Oh, do I use the pliers on him? Aha! Sorry, buddy. wonder what door you'll unlock. Okay. The eyes... Edward's clothing inside the little house. Oh, that's supposed to be a hint? Oh no. I don't know what that is. Oh, hi, buddy. Does the sound of my heart disturb you? It could stop all of a sudden, and that would be the end. I don't like thinking about my heartbeat. I just want the soap. Soap? Are you having trouble with your hygiene? What do you mean by possibly the end? I mean, it might be the end of the game, <laughs> but I'm not sure yet. Uh, I guess terrible problems. Terrible problems with hygiene. I smell like my flesh is all rotten inside. What? <laughs> But that sounds delicious. I don't think that would be the problem. Maybe for you. Just let me have the soap for a little while. Alright, then take it. It's all yours. Thanks, buddy. But be careful with the hijackers. They love children that smell like soap. They eat their baby bodies and keep the heads. Their beautiful baby faces. That sounds terrible. I'll be careful. Thank you for the soap. See you later. I have it. 
Oh, hi whale. Um why did I turn why did I just turn that on? No, not on Fran, on the faucet. I don't know. Do I use a bottle on the faucet? I guess. For what? For what? Probably not sure yet. Okay, we're gonna find out what key this is for. We have to come back and use that at some point. Um, there's a lot to think about. Um, this one's probably gonna be last, right? What about this? Ah! Thought it meant your last stream and you're never gonna stream again. Oh no, definitely not. Schedule's gonna change soon though because my work schedule's changing, but what on earth? A wake-up clock? Perfect. Girl, that's an alarm clock. What a big cat. What is this? Okay. What's this? Excuse me, tree. I want the glove. Thanks. Thanks. I feel like I shouldn't go there yet. Let's go in the cat door? This must be for something important. Can you go in it? It's quite dark in there. Okay, apparently not. Um, hi. You're a new one. Excuse me, I really need the key hanging just behind you. Excuse me, but I don't talk to strangers. You don't need to talk, just let me take the key. If I choose not to talk to strangers, not listening is also part of the deal. How disappointing. I have a question. Are you stuck to this tree? My account got suspended for 15 days. Oh my gosh. Well, sorry about that. I figured you had a similar um, username. I'm firmly attached to it. Why do you ask? Just curious. See you later. Uh, are we just... Are we going through this again? Okay. Can I pour water on you? You're burning, aren't you? water. Oh. Hmm. What, 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 what am I supposed to be using here? Oh, it's, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Examine. Can't examine it, I guess. Hmm. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this information. Thanks, cat, for your tail. Appreciate it. Is that all that was in that room? Okay, what do we have? We have to think about this. So we have this telephone with the numbers. Right. We have all the keys. We have a hairbrush. <gasps> Wait! Would they like me to brush their hair for them? That's what the other one liked. Can I brush your hair? Yes! I found a magical hair comb. Isn't it great? I don't know. A hair comb? What's that? Let's make your hair very pretty and smooth. Would you like to try it? I don't know, is it dangerous? It can be very pleasant if you do it smoothly. All right, let's try it. All right, just promise you won't burn me, okay? I'd only burn if I was in danger. Be gentle and nothing bad will happen. Okay, I'll be gentle. Mm. It works. It's happening to me. I've never experienced anything like this before. But how? Here, Lucifern. All Luciferns are meant to do this all the time. Really? Thank you very much. It feels incredible. I feel like I need to fly away. Goodbye. Sweet to keep it over. No, okay, great. It's not. How do I get it? Go back up. How do I get you? Can't reach it from here. What to do? Do I have anything that can help me reach it? This is kind of long. Hmm. How 
How do I get you, key? Oh, there was also a... There's a tree in the yard, right? In the first room? There's too much to keep track of. Um, yeah, here. Hey, hey. Not yet. I don't know what to do from up here. Throw something. Throw something. Let me see what I can find. What am I throwing? I forget. Tree. What am I throwing? Soap. Throw something? What am I throwing? Tree, I forget what you want. No. No. Throw something. Oh, do I throw something at this? I feel like... Yeah, um... Hmm, this is not right. This is not the solution. Let's not do that. How about... Oh, I don't have any pills anymore. I forget. Hi. What if I like... Okay. Can I do something to you? Clever enough to find another solution, I think. Mm. Mm. What's up, buddy? Okay. three. Oh. Well, I don't think I, there's anything else with this. Okay, girl, can you... No? Thank you. 103 is in the other room. I already used the button. I got something? What did I get from it? Ugh, bruh. I think this is done. Because I... Oh, I got the pliers from that. So that's done with. Um, I think this room is pretty much done with. Mm, okay. So there's this. Um, yeah, we're gonna examine this real quick. Oh wait, the Eckhock clock. Oh, I need a light bulb and the wake-up clock. What? I don't know where to- where do I get the light bulb from? I saw the wake-up clock. That's in here. How do I get inside you, cat? Hmm? Hmm? Well, that's how I get that, I guess. That's fun. Back of a giant cat. Girl. <laughs> I don't. Okay. Hmm. Empty case. Wake up, black water, blah, 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 piano keys, black wire, one glove, one soap bar. So the balloons, I think, is the only thing on the list. We've used the crayon. Um, already. I think this is the only thing on that list that I have yet to use. Um, I need help though. Uh oh. I made it pretty far. Oh, why didn't I think of that? Oh, there we go. That's very helpful. Alright, so I don't know why I didn't think about that, but um, I turned that on, and these are water balloons. It says water balloons. I thought it was a just regular balloon. Water balloons. Now, we're going to use it on the Kamala for the tree, because Kamalas hate water.
Hello. I missed. Girl. Girl. Please. There you go. Goodbye, Kamala. Wow, I don't feel sadness anymore. Thank you. Don't worry about it. I'm happy you feel better. I do feel better. Let me give you something in return. Oh, a long stick. Yes. Piece of me. You could plant it if you like. Thank you, sir. I have to go now. I must find my cat. I hope you find it. See you around. Okay, so now we can use that to get the other key. Here we go. There. Yes. All right. Am I not supposed to get inside this cat? All right. So. Oh, don't like that. Oh. All right. Laura is beating like a heart. Little boy. Little goat. Oh, hi, tree. Little girl is a mokupupa's den. Always die. That's nice. Creature from above. Get out of my buka's den. You're not welcome. Excuse me, but I'm looking for my cat and I need to wake up Mabuka. Just Mabuka? Mother Mabuka to you, arrogant infant. And how did you plan to wake her up? With the crazy ideas of Cogwind. Cogwind is a nice clockmaker. He's not crazy. So you know him. I assumed you've been to his Sursa. Horrid place, I say. Too dazzling. Well, that's exactly where I want to go after I find my kitty. Good for you. Your fragile little mind will be safe there with all those boring creatures. I'm going now, you wicked tree. My kitty is waiting for me. How do I do this? Oh, I need a bulb. From where? Have I bulbs? The only thing left is this, uh, this. What do I do with that information? Where do I get the bulb? Hmm? Why do I get it? Oh, visuals. Thank you. Okay. So we get the bulb from the first room. Not that room. Brick. Brick. This one. From here. There. <laughs> oh. I don't like the sound it's making. And 
the glow. I don't like that. Do we have this now? Move that there. Do we have all of that? Now we have to do this. Oh, hi. Beware of Mabuka. The awakened darkness rises from the unknown. Sorry to wake you, Mother Mabuka, but I need a favor. Can somebody tell me who this creature is? Quite insolent for such a tiny body. Excuse me, but I can answer that myself. I'm Fran Bo, human girl, 11 years old, and I'm very brave, so you know. A human in Mabuka's den? That's amazing. Who brought you here? That would be Remmer. I think he's your son, isn't he? Did my son manage to enter your head already? You mean like cutting my head open? I don't think so. Did you drink or eat some sort of reddish potion or beans? Beans? My pills looked like red beans, so yes, I took the whole bottle. Then I cannot use violence against you. The power has been unleashed. I hope you find beneath the ground the truth you seek. Thank you, but what power has been unleashed? Can you tell me? The power inside you, don't you know? You were selected by the five realms of essential ex existence to be the keeper of the key. The five realms of essential existence were created parallel with time. What are you talking about? The keeper of the key? Who told you that? The great Volacus from Primeve told us everything a long time ago. The keeper will be hunted by the son of darkness after feeding from the red seed. But you're too young, I must say. Too young indeed to be the keeper of the key. There's something about you. Did something obscure happen to you? I think Remmer killed my parents, Mother Mabuka. Can you imagine how that feels? I am all of those feelings, Franbo. I am everything sinister, all the darkness you can imagine. I feed from tears and sorrow, from desperation and fear. Then you don't care if Remmer killed my parents. I thought you were nice. I'm curious to know the reason, if that makes you feel better. Now I understand. It's the reason itself, the truth you're seeking. Go on, Keeper of the Key. Be brave now. I'll open my heart for you. Cool, thanks. That creature's body's made out of baby faces. Do I know you from somewhere? You look some you took something from me, didn't you? You little thief. Where's my knitting needle? Did you stab all your little friends with it? A knitting needle? Are you the dead nurse I saw back in Oswald Asylum? Do I look dead to you, you little beast? Take a number, would you? And wait for your turn in the waiting room. But Miss Nurse, I don't need medical attention. I just want to find my kitty. Take a number and wait. I won't repeat myself. Okay. Number seven. Oh, the waiting room. I wonder how long I have to wait now. Hours? Maybe days? I've been waiting for a week now. How long has everyone else been waiting? I've been waiting for like a month. But I have number two, so it must be my turn very soon. I've been waiting for three and a half weeks. Totally hopeless. Excuse me, everyone, but is there a way to make things go faster? Yes, become a doctor yourself. That would be faster. And by doing that, you could also help us all. But why don't you become a doctor yourself? I can't because I feel very sick. I can't. My R eye has been blinded. I have this broken horn, you see. I can't be a doctor. I have to be a patient. Neither can I. I've lost the ability to frighten myself in front of the mirror. I'm not sick at all. Please let me go before you, okay? I don't know what illnesses I have. That's why I'm here. But how do you not know? Do you feel pain anywhere? It's a very hard question. Make it softer. How can I make a question softer? That's very strange. Have you tried pulling your eyes off? It helps sometimes. It's impossible to talk sense with any of you. Of course you can't make sense of us. You're not the one who sees it all. Who sees it all? You've only known us for a few minutes. It's very little time to understand it all. That's true. But it'd be nice to use some common sense. 
Why? What does common sense do that uncommon sense doesn't? It helps to better understand each other. We understand each other very well, with our uncommon sense anyway. Yes, we actually do. We do respect the differences. But who's the one that sees it all then? You mean Mabuka? No, Mabuka knows everything. It's not the same as seeing everything. Now I want to wait because talking won't make the waiting go faster. All right, thanks for nothing. Uh, the big guy told me that because she sees it all. You see the screen? I have number two. It's almost my turn. I would be very angry because of that. Waiting. It was fun at the beginning. Now it's just boring. Okay. It's nice. Okay. I took a number. The bath boy said something about this. I think it's a hijacker. That creature's body's made out of baby faces. He said to watch out for it. Right? Oh, wait. Cran. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I thought I was smart for a second. What do I do then? Oh, that's what I thought. I have to go back to the eye. Because said he knows or whatever. Here you are. He sees everything. How do I talk to you? Yeah. Huh? What am I doing? Oh, I have to... I hate order of events. So annoying. Oh. Would it be possible to exchange our tickets at number seven? I need to know if I'm in pain. I need to know what illnesses I have. What if I find out what illnesses you have? Will you give me your ticket then? Sure, if I'm still here when you come back. Okay, so now we talk to the eye because he said the eye knows. Excuse me, I need your help. Of course you do. What can I do for you? Can you tell me what the illness what illness the creature who has ticket number two suffers? He's in the waiting room, waiting. Let me see. I see him. But from what I see, it's not really an illness. It's just a headache caused by low levels of agony. It's possible to help him somehow. I need his ticket. Yes, crying all the tears you can cry until you fill this bottle will do it. But don't forget, the tears must be caused by real sorrow. That won't be a problem. I'm at a very problematic point in my life. I thought everything was going to be better when Kitty and I got home. But now everything's so confusing. Aunt Grace is totally crazy. Talking to her was horrible. I really trusted her, but I don't know what to do now. Mabuka said that I was selected for something, but she fell asleep again and won't answer my questions. I need my kitty. Mr. Midnight's hugs are the best comfort in my life. I just want to find him so we can go back to his star set and be happy. Lovely pain, so profound. 
The bottle is now full of your tears. Give it to the critter that has your ticket. Cool. Go now. Time doesn't wait for anybody. Thank you. I'll be going now. Goodbye. Alright. Here, I drink this. You'll feel much better. Trying to poison me? How lovely. Let's see. Tastes like the most profound and darkest elixir I've ever tasted. Give me more. Give me more. No, leave me alone. You promised to give me the ticket if I helped you. All right, there you go. Thank you, your tears taste absolutely delicious. <gasps> it's my turn. Not your turn yet. Yes, it is. Hello, patient number two. We're going to do all we can to save you. Do you have an appointment? Not really. You told me to take a number and wait. Sorry, we don't help sick people without an appointment. But I'm not sick. I lost my kitty and I just want to find him. A lost kitty? That's a natural reaction to your sickness. You're lucky, though. Many lose their minds instead. Lucky. But how do I get an appointment, then? Just call me. Here's my card with the telephone number. Oh. Why must I call you? Why can't you make an appointment now? Don't be silly, because now I'm waiting for you to call me. Call me. Alright, I'll go make the call then. <sighs> That's what this is for. Hello, yes, he told me to call up to make an appointment. It's Fran Bo. I'm available now. No, I do have a pair of eyes. Really? Okay. I'll see you in a minute. Great, great, thank you. Bye, yes, bye. <laughs> Funny. Hello, patient number two. Do you have an appointment? Yes, Frambo is my name, and the appointment is now. Let me check the archives. Yes, there you are. The doctor will see you in a minute. Just go through the door to your right. Thank you. Hi. Sorry, did I scare you? You look quite pallid. Yes, what a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. Thank you, I guess. Now, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. I don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. Oh, you haven't chosen to end your life yet? Isn't the pain you feel enough? You're a rummer, aren't you? I haven't had the chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly, I cannot be seen in the third reality for long periods of time. I am Rummer, the terrible black prince of darkness. I know who you are. Don't try to act like nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Where's my cat? Do you, what did you do to Dr. Dearn? I immensely enjoy seeing your suffering dripping from your eyes. I feed from it. You are the manifestation of my desires. I can use you for whatever I want. You're under my power. It's not true. Not anymore. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. Why did you kill my parents? Why? You're assuming that it was I who did such a terrible thing? I saw you that night outside my window. It must be you who did it. You trust your eyes too much. Haven't you learned that human receptors are weak? Your body is fragile, easy to corrupt. Oh, he grabbed me. I've been snatched. No. Can't be, stop it. I thought it was Aunt Grace. I didn't do it, I didn't. It wasn't me, stop it, please. Who was it, my darling, who killed your parents? The dull little cre critter must suffer and die before becoming a star. I 
didn't kill my parents. I didn't. That monster wants to trick me. I know it. Everybody is crazy around here. I have to find Kitty and leave. Oh, doctor's here. Oh, that's mine now, I guess. Oh, Mr. Midnight. Kitty, my darling, I'm here for you. Are you all right? Answer me. What's wrong with you? Why don't you talk to me, Mr. Midnight? Please don't do this to me. Talk to me, Mr. Midnight. This isn't funny. It's this place, isn't it? You must get out of here so you can talk to me again. I'll take you to Sturstow, my darling. Polantris can help us. I promise you nothing will tear us apart again. Oh, Kitty, I'll be right back. I must help Dr. Deeran, all right? He seems to be in trouble. Dr. Deeran, are you all right, sir? Wake up, please, Dr. Deeran. Wake up. Are you alive, sir? What should I do? Maybe this will wake him up. Uh-huh. What was that? Don't worry, Dr. Deeran. It's me, Fran. Can't see very well. Fran Bow, sir, from the Oswald Asylum. We were at the cemetery, remember? What happened? Why am I tied to a chair? What have you done? I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought you here. We must go. Come on, Fran. Monsters? I don't feel like playing games. Alright, it wasn't a monster at all. Just let me help you. Hi. What is she doing here? I thought you chained her up. I did. I told you she was a hard one to tame. Do you want me to get rid of her? Get rid of me? Aunt Grace, why are you talking like that? Who's this old man? How lovely. You sound just like your mother when she was young. My mother? Do you know her? Who are you? I'm Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, Fran. Oswald? From Oswald Asylum? Yes, Fran, the same old man. But why do you know about my mother and my aunt? Many years ago, I was studying the magnificent complexity of twin siblings. Lucia and Grace were part of my study. Both helped me find the key to success. The key? Did you know that my mother and father were murdered? Yes, of course. Remmer did a great job. His power of manipulation is extraordinary. What I don't understand is how you can be so calm about it. It was you holding the knife, after all. I'm not calm, sir. I knew it was Remmer the whole time. But why is he hunting me? Remmer is a manifestation of your weakness. A blind and powerful manifestation of your fears. But why would the monster kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work. But I actually did you a favor. You're suffering. And pain is connected to growth and strength, Fran. Oswald, please. Let's just do what we need to do. Aunt Grace, please don't be mad at me. We're family. Let us go. My kitty and I can find a place to go without bothering you. Please just let us go. You're right, Fran. Sorry for being so hard on you. Let's go now. Uh, I don't trust this. Fran, my dear, listen to me. You must know Dr. Oswald only wants the best for you. When Lucia was pregnant with you, he knew you'd be a very special girl. He told us to take good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. She thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wants to give you the best, but for that you must allow him to try a little experiment on you. Then everything will be fine? Of course, but there's still one thing we must take care of. This little traitor must go. <gasps> Come on, friend, stop weeping. The cat's dead now. But he was my friend. You killed my best friend. You also helped kill my parents, did you? Didn't you? How can you live with yourself? I hate you. I hate you. Oh? Stop it, friend. Please help. Oh, don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster. <gasps> what is going on? My goodness, she's totally insane. Bring her to me. I'll do the experiment while she's still warm. I need to extract the brain right away. 
Fran, are you alright? What have you done to her? She tried to kill me. You were right about Fran, Dr. Deer, and she was sick. But she's bleeding. Let me take care of her. You won't. She is mine now. I've been waiting for this moment for many years, looking for the right child, the right brain. Now that I have her, nothing can stop me. <gasps> it word. Fran, everything will be fine. Who are you? I'm Itward, the one many children talk about. But you're not human. Oh. Itward, I found him. Stay away from the girl, leave her alone. Oh, hey. <laughs> yeah, what is going on? Little Fran must be cured. Do you think you can use the same body? Yes, she's not completely gone yet. Here I go. Mother Mabuka, you took the child's innocence. Fran is now dead and alive. Wake up in darkness, Fran, and you'll be able to walk towards light. What's going on? Oh, hey. happened? Edward Palantras? My heart hurts. Mr. Midnight? You're alive, my kitty. I missed you so much. Please tell me something. Fran, we must go now. All right. Dr. Dearn, look! This is Edward and Palantras. I told you about them, remember? I told you they were real. See? Do you believe me now? Uh, okay. He can't hear you now. I think he's under the power of Mabuka now. We really must leave. But he can come with us, please. He's been really nice to me. He really wanted to protect me and help me. We can't bring him with us, I'm sorry. But what we can do is make him believe that all of this was a dream. He'll wake up and think none of this really happened. But he won't remember you, Fran. I see. Well, that's okay. I guess as long as he's safe, she's alive, yeah. Can't kill the main character. It's very kind. You're finally seeing beyond your own desires. You're becoming one with everything. Your parents would be very proud of you. You really think so? Thank you, Palantris. Hug. Send Dr. Dearn home. Bye. Goodbye, Dr. Deer. Let's go now, Fran. There's so much you must see and learn. Sounds fun. Let's go, kitty. Ah! Achievement! The end! Finish Fran Bow. Red Dead and Redemption, I have not. But one thing I do know. That between guilt and fear... I choose happiness. Nice. Kill Monday. They also made a uh, little misfortune, and that's a bit of a shorter one. But it's definitely interesting. Might check that out. Um, so that was uh, fun. I'm really curious <laughs> as to what like the meaning behind Frambo is. I mean, I kind of, I kind of get it, but like, I want to know what actually happened, if that makes sense. Um, so I think I might look that up. I want to let these credits roll though, because these peeps deserve a little recognition for this great game. That was really fun. I really enjoyed that. Um, I hated. The only thing I like disliked is I don't like the amount of times that I had to pull up a walkthrough because I felt stuck. Um, that is usually something that I don't need to do in games. Um, so that's my only gripe with it is that some things were just so lost in my brain um maybe i didn't understand it whatever but 
I think that's my only thing with it, but it was really good. Love the art style, love the story. So much fun. How long it took you? About seven streams. <laughs> so about seven hours. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. I expected it to take a little bit shorter of the time. Um, but I had fun with it, you know? I don't know what I'm going to play on Mondays now. Actually, I might not even be able to stream on Mondays anymore. But we'll see. I'm starting to work kind of weekdays. So we'll see. I might just become a weekend streamer. <laughs> you who believed in us oh it's the next game i have no idea <laughs> thank you for playing rambo it was fun i loved it They do have merch, I think. Uh oh. I was at the end. Thought I was stuck. Nice. Um mm -mm, we're gonna go to just chatting and I'm gonna look this up. A true story behind the game. Hmm, I guess that makes sense. Franbo is the queen of hearts. There's so many references to Alice. Madness re returns game to the Alice for Madness returns game. That if you see the picture of the queen of hearts and compare it to Fran, it's basically her. What is this? What is... Alice Madness Returns. I'm curious. Is it in Steam? But that makes sense because definitely um, it was her with her friend Alice. Um, Alice Madness Returns. Oh, I've seen like cosplays of this. Have you played What Remains of Edith? Edith Finch? Yes, they have. I have that game. Uh, there's a moment in Frambo where she appears in the throne and the floor seems to be a chessboard. That's true. The knife, the Alice animals, the tea party, which is the Frambo birthday, constant decapitations, hairpin with a red bow. It's a skull. Hmm. That's not exactly what I wanted, but that's cool. <laughs> I'm gonna read this also this interpretation someone interpreted it and then we're gonna yes I'm over 18 thank you I just recently played this game this is on reddit also by Nee Colmack I just recently played this game and I was and still am hooked I went through each chapter a second time after my first playthrough and tried to piece everything together I think I did a pretty good job but I still might be missing pieces here and there as a young girl it was clear that Fran had a severe mental illness. Fran always talked about the five realities, which are actually the five realities within Fran's mind. Her parents took her to the hospital asylum where she stayed until doctors suggested a lobotomy. The parents agreed to the procedure. After the lobotomy, Fran's parents took her home and she seemed better. Her parents eventually gave Fran a cat named Mr. Midnight. On July 22nd, 1944, nine-year-old Fran had an episode and killed her parents and Mr. Midnight. So she did actually kill them. I thought it was maybe Aunt Grace, but... Once <clears throat> she realized what she had done, she ran away to the forest. Someone found her and brought her to the asylum. The asylum released to the public that Fran was found dead so they can conduct experiments with unapproved dosages of duotine. Because of the high doses Fran is given, she hallucinates. The nurse also tells Fran that lost kitties are a result of your sickness, which indicates that Fran really did kill Mr. Midnight because of her illness. Yeah, guess so. 
Since Fran has been in the asylum before, she knew most of the children there. The children knew about her, knew her, and had heard Fran's stories and seen her drawings of her imaginary friends, Itward and Palantras. Fran talks about how her and her friend Alice make up stories and talk about different lands together. This is long. My gosh. Fran sets out to escape the asylum and eventually succeeds just before her 11th birthday. The guard realizes Fran is gone and runs to catch her. Fran escapes by going through the maze and then the sewer. She eventually finds a well and due to her curiosity falls into the well and falls into a coma. The guard that has been chasing her pulls her out of the well and returns her to the asylum. Fran remains in a vegetative state for a while where she dreams of the twin girls, uh, which is also, they're also in the asylum. And a wonderful land named Miss Jersta. In reality, she is being worked on by doctors. Palantras is Dr. Deeran and the Great Wizard. In her mind, she's trying to find a way out of her coma. She eventually comes out of her coma when she returns to her human body. However, she's not fully conscious. During her semi-conscious state, she flees to the asylum again. She flees the asylum again. After fleeing the asylum for the second time, Fran finds a bicycle and decides to ride it to find her house. She tells her imaginary friend Itward she's feeling dizzy, which is when she loses control of the bike and crashes. Once she, once conscious, she realizes she's nearly home and eventually finds her house. She can't get into the house because it's locked, which is when Dr. Deeran, who has been looking at for her after realizing she's missing again, finds her. Dr. Deeran was actually fired from the asylum because he found out about the experimentation and was appalled. He tells Fran about her death and brings Fran to her parents' grave to search for clues. Mr. Midnight's body is actually in Fran's grave. Right. I knew that he was actually dead. Um, they both pass out, probably drugged. Uh, here's where things get a little messy. Ah, a plague, tra a plague tale? No, I haven't heard of that before. So there's four possible outcomes, I guess, interpretations. Ending one, Fran's brought back to her house where she's chained up in the bed by Aunt Grace. She uses a key she wears around her neck to free herself from the chains and runs back to the asylum. Once there, she sees Dr. Deeran strapped to a chair. She tries to help him and gets shot by Dr. Oswald and is taken for a second lobotomy. The procedure works and Fran's mind returns to Astursa. Ending two, uh, Fran's brought back to her house, where she's chained to the bed by Aunt Grace. Fran uses the key she wears around her neck, frees herself, runs back to the asylum. She sees Dr. Deer and strapped into a chair. She gets shot. She's dying, and her favorite memories comfort her, which is Mr. Midnight, Edward, Palantras. Ending three, Fran's brought back to the asylum. Once awake, Fran uses the key she wears around her neck to free herself from the chains. Dr. Deer and strapped into a chair. She's shot. Second lobotomy, procedure works, returns to Astursa. Friends brought back to the asylum once awake. Fran uses the key, frees herself, sees Dr. Deer, and tries to help him get shot, and then her favorite memories. So, kind of all similar. Uh, I guess that makes sense. Pretty cool game with a beautiful story. Interesting. I might have to look at it. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. We'll roll with that. Anyway, fun game. That was really awesome. I enjoyed the whole thing. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for tuning in. I'll be back tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard for some scary Reddit stories. So I hope you guys get to tune in for that. I love doing the scary stories. We'll see if there's any friends we can raid today while I'm doing that. If you're watching on YouTube, uh, and you enjoyed please consider subscribing it takes two seconds and it's completely free so you can always unsubscribe later none of our friends are streaming today so we are just gonna end so i will see you guys tomorrow have a great rest of your day guys bye